Hello, today I'll be demonstrating some of the uh, features of our software Easy Image Pro, which is geared specifically for uh, stamps and coins. One of the questions that we do get asked many, many times is how we're able to process so many images so quickly. And the simple answer is, is we use uh, Easy Image. Um, today I was actually working on uh, producing updates for Easy Stamp uh, for our Russia database. And I scanned the Russia year sets, and in about two or three minutes, I had all the images uh, easily separated. So here's a page scan that I did. Um, what I did is I laid out 20 or 30 stamps, or as many as I could fit on my scanner, and laid them out just uh, you know haphazardly, uh, as long as they don't touch each touch each other. And then I'll quickly show you how you can uh, separate these images uh, automatically. So once you've loaded the image, you go to uh, the Tools menu and you click on separate automatic and just click begin and it detects the images and we just click on separate and as you can see it separated all these images in just a few seconds now once these images are separated they don't have to be uh, automatically straight when they're on the scanner our software will automatically do that for you so we have a little script that um, it comes with easy image but you can create your own this one is crop and rotate so it's going to automatically rotate the image so it's nice and square and crop it so we get rid of all the extra space and you can just do that with all of them I think you get the idea alright so let's close some of these Actually, I'll just close them all. All right, so I'm going to open up a couple of other images that I have. I'll show you some of the other features in uh, Easy Image that are really useful. Okay, one of the things that you'll notice in uh, a lot of countries where they have stamps that have been overprinted, there are many varieties where, you know, in the Scott catalogs or the Mickle catalogs, they'll say, you know, overprinted, uh, and they'll give you the angle of the overprint. And depending on the stamp, uh, it can be worth quite a bit more depending on which angle that you have. And Easy Image provides a very simple way of measuring the angle. You basically click on the uh, uh, measure tool, and you click your starting point, you draw along the line that you want to measure, and right there it's telling you the angle, which is 31.94 or, or 32 as reported in the catalog. So really, really handy. It also gives you the uh, dimensions of the overprint. Sometimes, you know, an overprint can be 19 or 19 and a half millimeters and so forth. Very, very simple to do it this way. All right. Here's an example of... Um, for US stamps where you can actually measure uh, to find out if your stamp is a rotary press or a flat, pl uh, flat plate uh, stamp. Um, these stamps I'm quite sure are uh, Scott number 455 which measure 19 and a half by 22 millimeters but we'll just verify that and it's all you know, they, I mean they always look the same but you have to measure them to be to, to be certain so again you just click on the measure tool and we just click on the design and right there it's reported as 22.09 which is 22 millimeters and then we'll do check the other one as well and that one comes out as 22.1 so again within tolerances and if you measure the the width that comes out to be 19 and a half which is right to spec and Similarly, that comes out as 19.48. So again, that's right within specs. So a very, very simple way to determine whether a stamp is a rotary press or a flat plate press. Now let's take a look at some of these. There have been a lot of these uh, Kansas, Nebraska overprints that have been forged. And um, the only way to really tell is, is to be able to overlay the stamps to make sure that... Uh, that uh, you know uh, that they're not forgeries. You need to have a um, a certified copy of one that you know is legitimate. And for example, this stamp that I own, I know I've sent this in, and it is a legitimate copy. Now, whether this stamp that I also have, which is a duplicate, is a legitimate copy, 
uh, remains to be seen. And Easy Tool, or sorry, Easy Image provides a, um, a very simple way to uh, to uh, determine whether this is true or not. You can certainly measure the the overprints, but again, that won't tell you exactly uh, whether it's a forgery or not. The way to do it is you basically overlay the images on top of each other. And in an easy image, you just go to compare images. And then we load the background image. And then we load a foreground image. And now they're overlaid on top of each other. So you can see that they're kind of not on center. So what I usually do is I just line them up so that the design and you can use the arrow keys to do the fine adjustments here, which is what I'm doing now. So now you can see that the, that the stamps themselves are lined up fairly well. And then what I normally will do is I'll overlay the two overprints and make sure that they kind of line up. And I can see right now, as soon as I nudge them, that the two overprints are identical. So really, really simple way and really useful tool for uh, determining whether these stamps are faked or not. Well, that's it for today. If you have uh, any other suggestions for videos, just let us know. Thanks a lot.